It's the end of November. Um, I'm down at Frimley Lakes in Surrey. Absolute stunning day. All the, uh, the leaves are turned and we're going to do a piece on locating winter carp. I'm lucky enough to have been allowed down here for a few hours fishing. I've just got two rods and a small bag and we're going to have a look around and see if we can find some fish feeding. Um, I've been having a look out to uh, the lake on my left. I haven't seen much yet, uh, but we'll keep looking and then we're going to go and have a look at the other lake behind us and see if we can uh, see a few fish over there. I'm sure we will. It's such a beautiful day and it's really mild for an uh, early winter, uh, late autumn day. I've been down here now for a couple of hours, having a good look around. Um, I didn't see a great deal to start with. Uh, what I was looking for was some bubbling, obviously fish crashing or rolling, but I find this time of the year the fish become a lot more dormant. So we're just looking for really subtle signs. And one thing I did notice in the lake to my right was the water was very, fairly clouded up in one area. Um, I looked in the margins, I could see there was a lot of sort of really, the water was very clear and I could see some gravel spots on the bottom. But as I looked out a bit further, I could see the water become a bit more murky. Uh, there was like a green sort of browny tinge to the water. And this to me just, you know, it, it spells carp pretty much any time of the year. And it was, it wasn't no, um, it wasn't something new to me. I, I was looking at it and all of a sudden I see some fizz come up in the area. Um, you know, tiny little bubbles, which this time of the year are a great sign for the odd fish that's still feeding. I carried on looking at the area um, and, I, and then I had a little walk afterwards and found another little area as well, up the other end of the lake, where there was a very similar, um, you know, piece of water that was quite cloudy, a little bit murky, and I could, straight away, I could tell that there'd been carp there and within about 10 minutes a fish boshed out. Come right out of the water and minutes later another one showed. Whether it was the same fish or not I'm not sure but it showed in that area. So it just shows you that these little subtle signs, if you keep looking into that area you'll find eventually you'll either see a carp, you'll catch a carp but there's going to be carp there. There's several ways in the winter of looking for fish and I would say looking for subtle bubbles, uh, looking for changing the colour in the water, uh, obviously listening for fish crashing out is, is key. A lot of the time this time of the year I do find with the long nights the carp will show in the dark and so a great time for looking for carp at this time of the year is to look at night. Uh, I mean years and years ago uh, I used to fish the Darrant Flakes in Kent and I always used to go looking for carp at night during the day we'd never see carp, as soon as it was dark they'd start showing and over the years, you know, right up till now, that's one of my sort of main weapons for this time of the year. If you're not seeing any fish, uh, you're seeing no fish at all, then I would say try and get some liners. Fish are still moving around, try and look for liners, which means just slackening off your line just slightly, so it's just got a semi bow in it and just seeing any movements of your line and you'll soon notice whether the carp are there or not. You know, this can be a great way of finding fish. Another way of finding fish at this time of the year, during the winter months, is going where the sun's shining, following the sun. The sun is key. If you follow the sun, you look for the, where the sun comes up in the morning, the bank it's shining, shining into, and then you just move around with that sun and you'll find the carp tend to follow the warm water as the day goes through. Snaggy areas, south facing, pads south facing are always a great uh, place for locating, locating carp in the winter. What I'm going to do now, I've found some fish obviously uh, with what I've seen, so we're going to have a walk, walk back to the van, get some tackle, we're going to have a walk around there and we've got three or four hours fishing this afternoon and hopefully uh, we'll at least get close to catching a carp or seeing a carp. I really hope you enjoyed the video we've done today and you've learned something valuable from it. If you haven't subscribed already to our YouTube channel then please do. Uh, if you're watching this on Facebook then you can like our page, um, leaving any comments below, uh, more than welcome. 
If you look onto our website, uh, we're going to be doing some blogs on there and we're going to be doing some secret carp videos that you can sign up to. Um, each week we're going to be doing more of these videos, so I look forward to seeing you next time or maybe it's one of our team. Um, good luck and tight lines.